Here's another 10 gas questions that every gas engineer should know. Don't forget, put your scores down in the comments below. And if you want any more of these videos, let me know. Anyway, let's get on with it with question number one. What is the chemical symbol for carbon monoxide? Now, hopefully you said CO, not CO2, because that's for carbon dioxide. Let's have a look. Question number two. One meters cubed of natural gas produces how many meters cubed of products of combustion? Well, every one meters cubed of natural gas requires 10 meters cubed of oxygen or there or thereabouts. So it produces 11 meters cubed of products of combustion. How many of you got that one right? Anyway, let's look at question number three. To IGM G11, how would an open fluid boiler with signs of incomplete combustion be categorised? Well, hopefully on this one, you said ID and not at risk. Question number four. When carrying out a gas rate on a smart meter, what is the recommended test time? Well, on a smart meter, the minimum time we can do it is two minutes. But if the numbers are always shown on the gas meter, then we could reduce that to one minute. Let's have a look at question five and halfway. When converting a gross input to the net input, we must divide by, hopefully, for you said, a 1.11. Because that's how we convert gross to net for natural gas. Let's have a quick question six. When flue gas analysing a condensing boiler, what is the maximum CO that can be produced? So hopefully you put 350 and parts per million. So let's have a look at question seven. What is the maximum ratio a condensing boiler can produce? Well, did you say 0.004? Well, if you did, you'd be correct. Let's have a look at question eight. What is the maximum ratio a non-condensing boiler can produce? Well, hopefully you wrote 